Hey everyone, welcome to another wig transformation with me, Mr. Wilberg. Today we're going to transform a wig from Wigs By. It's a human hair wig, she's blonde, she must be fabulous. Uh, I haven't unboxed her yet, so let's see how she looks. Here it is, it arrives in this fancy box. Let's see how it looks. Alright, add the wig. Oh, you get two wig caps. You get a fancy comb, all pink and fabulous. And, oh, you also get four of these if you need to put some clips into the wig. We're not gonna need to stitch these in because the missus has no real hair. Anyway. So, let's check out the wig. Ah. Look at her. It is 150% density, this wig, so it's full and nice. Uh, it's very light compared to synthetic products. That's the first thing that strikes me. Uh, it also has, let's see, it's got a really great lace as well. Good work on the lace though. Really nice. Anyway, you can wear it just like it is. It's really fabulous, but this wouldn't be a wig transformation unless I actually do something to her as usual. So let's start with putting her on a styrofoam head and see where she takes us. She is now on the head and I'm getting ready for the first step, which is brush her through. I'm gonna make her a little bit wet and I'm gonna cut the tips on the wig. And this is because I want the wig to be like full full in the ends. And right now it is a little, little, little bit thin in the end. So starting with that and see you afterwards. I cut the ends and I blow dried her so she is ready for the following step. Uh, following step is I'm gonna take up all of the top hair, save it for later, uh, and then I'm gonna start teasing her and curling her. And I'm not gonna use the technique I regularly use because this is a human hair wig so I have to be a little bit more careful. Uh, so the products I'm gonna use today, extra hold hairspray from Redken. And when I tease her, I'm gonna use this little thing that is like a flat iron, but as you can see, it has like teeth in it. So this is what all the middle-aged women use when they're gonna tease their hair, you know, one of these. And then I'm gonna curl it. So I'm gonna show you on this side, I'm gonna start doing sections. One, two, three. I'm gonna tease, I'm gonna curl, and then I'm gonna lock it with one of these little bad boys and see you after I've done all the bottom part. She is now all rolled up in curls in the back, looking like a real proper granny. I think it's gonna turn out fun. Uh, following step, uh, I'm gonna, t as usual, I'm gonna save like this much of the hair on the lace. I'm gonna pull it forward, save it for last. And then I'm gonna choose where to put a split in the hair. And I think I'm gonna put it here, like a side split. 
Um, and then I'm gonna do practically the same thing as I did uh, down here. I'm gonna roll from the split, I'm gonna roll this way and that way. And see you after I've done that. She's now curled and teased through all the way around. And as you can see, she is serving up some granny, sexy, real nice. Uh, what I've done is just as I did in the back, uh, I switched the directions of the curls here. And this is also where the bang is gonna go separate ways. Anyway, uh, Next step would be to start taking these out, brushing the wig out as I go, and doing that from the bottom up. Things are starting to happen. Uh, she's now all brushed out and uh, starting to look kind of fabulous, but still not there. Uh, what I'm gonna do next is just style the outer layer of the hair. Try to make her a little bit smoother. Uh, I'm gonna stabilize her with big and small clips. And I'm only just gonna use a brush and a comb to try to find the waves again up here and in this part and then I think I want to keep the the ends kind of like frizzy and playful so see you after that I've been styling her and uh, trying to brush her and make her smoother. Uh, put in some clips here and there just to find some of the waves before it goes down into this dreamy frizz down here. Uh, following step is to comb this part into the bangs on the sides. And after that it's only the final styling and hopefully we'll be done soon. I've uh, combed the uh, bang part into the front and the side. I left it to set for a while after I sprayed it. And the only thing I've done here just to find the waves is that I just brush everything and when I find a wave, I kind of catch it with, with the clips and then I work my way down 
uh, to the frizz in the same manner. And it may look hard, but it's really not that hard. It's kind of therapeutic. Anywho, uh, it's only final styling left. So I'm going to take out all of the pins and I'm just gonna tweak her a little bit. And then I think she's gonna be done. This is before. And this is after. The wig is done. I think it turned out really great. Uh, I put in some pins here in the bags, just needles. Uh, just so it keeps its shapes until the missus is gonna use it. Um, it was real fun working with this. It's the first human hair tutorial we have done. Uh, the difference between doing a synthetic and a human hair, it's not that big, except that I dare to be more brutal with the synthetic wigs because they are obviously cheaper. But uh, I really enjoyed working with this and as you can see, uh, it turned out really amazing. And do you want to see how it looks in action? Do you want to see how it looks on the missus? Here's the clip. I love it. I love it so much. I love it. All the information about the wig you can find down here. Any questions or comments, comment below. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. And follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more fun stuff that we do that we do not make tutorials of. Until next time, see you.